What is up guys? This is Celtics Nation Jamie here and there's been a lot of things in the offseason. I'm just here to talk about it right now. So I will just be telling you like my opinion of the moves and yeah. So the first move I'm going to talk about is this is from my favorite team and we were in the Kevin Durant feud. I never thought we were going to really get him but like I wanted to and I was mad. But Al, I think Al Warford's guy, I never, I'm not saying that we won the free agents. Definitely Golden State did with Kevin Durant. But I think Al Warford is a great player for us just to have and play at the big man. And I think he can really be a great player in Boston. And I think we can be better. I think we just need to sign a couple more players right now because we need to get over the hump with like the big players like Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, and there's reports that we might get Westbrook, Boogie, Blake, I don't I don't know, maybe Blake, I've heard a lot about that, but I'm not sure. So yeah, so that's just what Boston's happening to Boston and yeah, I think I would give them probably a right now probably a six out of ten for the free agent so far. Also losing Turner and Sollinger, I mean Solinger wasn't a lot, but Turner was my favorite player, so him just going to Portland, I don't really know if that's good or not, but getting Horford is big. The next one is the Warriors, and you know, they won a championship, and then they lose to the Cavs, but you know, signing Durant for them I think is going to be huge, but literally, Durant's like the hate player in the house. He literally just did, if you can't beat him, join him, and I think that's weak for him. Like, I, I know he wants to win a championship already, but I think this is a really, really weak move. I mean, <laughs> I think he still would have won a championship in Boston or even OKC, I don't know. But but I think this is just going to, like, ruin his career. I don't think he's going to be, like, big again. and I don't think he's going to play that good anymore. So this is what I think about the Warriors. They can... And they lost a lot of big men just to sign one player. They lost Bogut. They had to sign Sasa Pachulia. And yeah, so yeah. That's what I think about the Warriors. The next one is the Knicks, and I think they did actually pretty good. They pick up Derrick Rose off of a trade. He's only there for one year, but I think, I don't know if he's gonna get injured. I think he can actually be good in, in New York. Courtney Lee, they got him for defense. And then they got Joakim Noah, who's also a really good big man. I think this is really what the Knicks need. They need to like build around something. And I think that something is going to be Carmelo. Even though he's getting older, I think this team, if they can bring it to the next level and sign a couple more like great players in the next coming years, I think this team, they can be a championship team. I'm not even joking. So that's what I think of the Knicks right now. So the next one is the Chicago Bulls. And I think the Bulls, I thought they were gonna be bad now. They lost Rose, they lost Noah. But then they signed Rondo, and then right back after that, they signed Wade. So I don't know the direction this team is going in. And signing Wade, he was probably one of the biggest free agents other than Durant. So like, I can't really say anything right now about Chicago. I just, I'm going to have to keep skill with this team because I don't think they're going to be good, but I don't think they're going to be bad. So that's what I think about Chicago. So next is the draft, and I think the draft went good. Number one, Ben Simmons. He's already going to be a great talent. Number two, Brennan Ingram. He might need to get a little bit stronger. Number three, Jalen Brown to the Celtics, my favorite team. I think that's going to be good. I saw him in summer league. He played pretty good. Number four, Dragon Bender, and he's gonna be good. He looks like he's gonna be a tough player. And then number five, Chris Dunn. Dunn is a really good point guard, and I think Minnesota needs that. Ricky Rubio is not good. And that's what I think about the draft. The next and the biggest thing I thought that happened is Tim Duncan retiring, and he was in the NBA, and he really brought a lot of things to the NBA. Definitely the best power forward of all time, and he was a, lo a big all-star. He won a lot of championships, and I just want to tell him, I hope he has a great rest of his life. He actually had a great NBA career. He's definitely going in the Hall of Fame, and that was just like big, because I didn't even think he was going to retire until he, like two years, and he retires this year, you know? 
So, and Mono Ginobili is actually going to stay here, and I thought he was going to retire. So that's what I just think, and Tim Duncan, thanks for being in the NBA. He, I hope you have a great rest of your career. The last and final is Dwight Howard going to the Hawks. I do not like this at all. Dwight Howard is garbage, complete garbage. He is trash. He did not do anything to help Houston at all. I saw James Harden get a winning shot, and he jumped, and he w stood up, and he was just mad face. He didn't even look happy. I don't like this that Atlanta signed him. I think Horford is way better than him, and I think they should have gave the money to Horford, not Dwight Howard. And, yeah, so I don't think Atlanta won. Got, they Teague went to Indiana for a trade, and I don't think that was smart either. So that's what I think about the Hawks. Like and comment if you want me to do more of this. And this was just like a random video I thought of and I thought it would be like just something to say like what I think about it and what you guys want me to think. And you know, comment what else I missed and like what bad things happened. So yeah, so signing out is, I mean Celtics Nation Jamie. Please subscribe, please like, please everything and thank you and goodbye.